Okay, we're in Karlsruhe at the Grand Chess Open with International Master Lawrence Svendt. Welcome, Lawrence. Hi, how are you? Fine, thank you. Last year you were here as a commentator, this year as a player. How's the tournament going so far? Um, it's going okay. I'm on two and a half out of three. I uh, drew earlier today uh, against Josephine Heinemann, who is a um, talented uh, young player. And she defended very well in a in a bad position so a draw is a draw and this afternoon I was gifted with a very uh, very quick win so tomorrow will be you know two and a half out of three against a very good player with black so a good chance to rest and uh, try and win tomorrow. Yeah, you need a rest because starting at nine o'clock how yeah. is that for a chess player? <laughs> it's horrible it's really horrible uh, we're kind of used to it because in places like the Bundesliga it starts at 10 o'clock on a Sunday and I have a terrible score at 10 o'clock on a Sunday it takes time for the juices to get flowing but uh, it's a very tiring tournament two games a day sometimes the games can go five hours you can be playing 10 hours per day and then a the morning round it's it's tiring but uh, no I'm enjoying playing Okay, very good. It looks quite an inspiring environment, isn't it here? This yes. fantastic big tournament here. Yes. Oh, it's great here. I, I remember last year I really enjoyed commentating um, and to have the, uh, the elite players here again is amazing. What they've done with the hall this year with the big posters is really nice. The light is good. The atmosphere is nice. Uh, it's, it's just very pleasurable to play here. So uh, looking forward to hopefully putting in a good performance. How is it to play yourself again? You commentated on the, during the Candidates Tournament in Berlin uh, almost three weeks, I think. Weeks, yeah. uh, how was that experience? How was yeah. that experience with yeah. Judith Polgar? I mean, it was great. With Judith's amazing, obviously, best player of all time, best uh, woman player of all time. Uh, sees so much stuff. It was very inspiring, and actually, even though it was a tiring event because the days were very long at the Candidates. Um, it, I felt very refreshed coming here. I felt like I looked at chess. I was analyzing chess for, for weeks and I, I felt like I was sharp somehow. So already I've played three games that I'm quite happy with actually, uh, even though I'm not on 100%. So uh, yeah, I feel uh, inspired to, to play again. So it's good. Okay, very good. How was it, uh, the candidates tournament? When you look back at it a few days back again, yeah. uh, Caruana won. Yeah. Surprise to you? No. Uh, as you know, I, I was managing Fabiano for some time and uh, it was just uh, always a matter of time when he would do it. Uh, incredibly talented, amazing nerves. Uh, he fully deserved it. I mean, look at his tournament performance. He had one or two shaky moments, but realistically, he was the best performer, most stable and deserved it. And we're going to see uh, Caruana Carlson here, which is going to be interesting in the first round tomorrow. So. That will be fun. Already in the first round. Yes. Um, do you think is it is it difficult for him to start to play again nine more rounds after this really exhausting tournament in Berlin? It's going to be interesting to see how he plays here because Magnus, he's been relaxing, refreshed, uh, and obviously a, a very good Magnus is is almost unbeatable. But it will be interesting. Um, I'm not sure how he's going to do here. If I'm totally honest, I think he used a lot of energy in. Uh, in Berlin so it wouldn't surprise me if he had a normal result here and didn't win it but at the same time maybe he's just inspired and loves chess again really loves chess and you know just wins this as well it's not it's not completely out of the question so it'll be interesting to see but it was a very tiring event Berlin not just the tournament it was the preparation before the tournament as well so yeah do you think it's easier for him to, to play Magnus in the first round here in uh, in Karlsruhe or just to have they have the game ready and finished and done. Well, and you know what's interesting? He's, he, this is the fourth time in the past four tournaments that he played Magnus in the first round, which is something like a 0.01% chance. Uh, so it's very interesting. Uh, the last time he played Magnus, he was white. He got nothing, I believe, in London. Oh, no, no, he played uh, Magnus in Vike. Sorry, he was black in Vike. He played this Petrov. Uh, the last time he had white, he got nothing against Magnus. So it'll be interesting to see if he puts him under pressure, but I don't think he cares if it's the first round or the ninth round. He just plays plays chess. So, and just looking forward a bit about to the World Championship match. What do you yeah. think about that uh, one? Million dollar question. Well, I said when I was working with Fabiano, I think he is the player that will give Magnus the most problems because he doesn't fear Magnus. Uh, a lot of other players, I believe, have this fear factor. 
Fabiano doesn't care. He's a very objective player. If you look at the head-to-head -head results, yes, Magnus has got a better head-to-head, -head, but Fabiano has also scored a lot of wins against Magnus. So I think it's going to be a very, very interesting match. And uh, I think it's going to be full of drama. I think there's going to be, it's not going to be like the kayaking match in New York. It's not going to have eight or nine draws and then a win in round 10 or round nine, whenever it was. It's going to be, it's going to be, there are going to be decisive results very quickly. And it's going to be very interesting this match. So I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, we all do. Also looking forward to your fourth round. What are you going to do uh, this afternoon? You have more or less a free afternoon. Yeah, I might go and just uh, hang out with Fabi actually, because he's like he's in the hotel, and uh, yeah, I might just go and chill out with him, um, relax. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna, you know, it's still been a long day, and just wanna chill out and get ready for tomorrow so not, nothing special go to bed early yeah i will go to bed early yeah because nine o'clock rounds I'm, i'm not 21 anymore <laughs> eric you know i just you know i just uh, uh i can't do it i just can't go out anymore so i'll be in bed at a good time okay. my mum would be proud okay. so we wish this old man good luck for the rest thank of the tournament thank you very much thank you thank you, thank you.